Oh. <laughs> Special and unique aircraft for playing around Victory in Europe A 2023. Oh, forgot that <laughs> it was in the middle of a flight. Well, ni hao! Can't buy. Wushao kar! Fuye le dao aeronautica! Yete bonjour! Je ma pekao! Et bienvenue de l'aeronautique! And hello everybody! It's Carl! Welcome to Aeronautica! And I'm just parking the Cathay Pacific A350-1000 at Vizier International at this sweet spot. Throttle. Are there any jobs? Right. Furthest is all tech. Green rarity. Hmm, Hungarian Air Force. Mig Dwatsat Deviat. And it comes with labels. Credit to delivery artists. Right. Oh, anyway. Forgot to turn on the sounds. Alright, there's a cycle. Let's see if there's a yellow rarity charter flight. And there isn't any. It's just a green charter to Biscopla. So we can just end here at <laughs> the city of Montreal. <laughs> Send the flight. Alright then, there has been a new update, version 1.133, and Aeronautica is celebrating the Halloween season three weeks in advance, or is it two? So the crates are replaced with the shack lanterns and... If you've entered the lobby, it's there's some orange and purples. <laughs> How fitting. Right, so take a few moments to read the update notes. A few new aircraft. A bit of improvement. And up to 1.30 level. T2 tanker. I disagree with replacing the <laughs> West Class tanker. That's, what's that? Yeah, that's. What was that tanker that rep got replaced by the T2? It's. You know, it's mm -hmm. It's, I think it's Greek for West. And there was a, a B-29. And uh, 1.31, it's, it's a lot of new liveries. And yes. All right. Fan fights and throws, yes, that's the... Uh, Alright, concurrent players, let me inform the chat.
All right, so let's see what 1.133 has to offer. Hello, driver two. So, got my notes handy in case I don't want to put back that update again. So, there's Lineham International. And oh, I forgot to uh, let me overhaul this in case. So, let's go to Lineham Air Force Base. And what do we have here? It's the Haviland Sea Hornet. Mm -hmm. yeah, naval aircraft. Should have done my research beforehand, but there should be advanced customization. Yes, advanced deliveries as well. Here's the armament. So, during, so you can put it with a thousand pounder bombs or rockets. You can uh, extend the stabilizer on the tail. Uh, chat going crazy. All right, concurrent players. Not much going on. No curations. So, where's this new aircraft? <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking at it right now. The North American T6G Texan. I guess this is a World War. Oh, did I? I've seen that flash, that still sounds like an atomic bomb has dropped somewhere in the aeronautical world. Typical moderators. Yeah, viva la liberty. <laughs> so that, yes, the Texan. <laughs> Just make it. So, it gets put any gray you like, but yeah, that's bad. The Texan. Well, just a quick, just a quick look here. Just the Texan. Another edition of World War, of World War Two aircraft. Okay, so next, let us teleport to Novarals Air Force Base. And I've it's been a long time presenting this little <laughs> Firkin, the Su Sorksen. Oh, Popsk here. Uh, Laurentius is here as well.
All right, enough of this. Let's see the new aircraft. And it's a blue rarity. Just at 3,000 wings points. The Tupla 2, Devianostopiat MS. The Tupla TU-95MS. The NATO reporting name of Bear. And this is the H variant. And Bear in Russian is Medved. Medved, that's Russian for bear. And Theo modeled this, I guess. And did, did Rice have a hand at this? So it's, um, let's make it all aircraft gray. It should be more bluer. Let's make it. <laughs> mm, that's better. The two no stopiat MS. The TU ninety five. And just at a whopping three thousand wings points. Should have been more. <laughs> oh, there's another cycle. Let's see if it's already on stock. And it's not on stock right now. Once again, concurrent players. The TU-95. Right. And there's some people, or rather players, who have just wasted their unlock points just to buy this little bomber here, or giant bomber. Look at that. There's already a delivery for that. Russian aerospace star symbol on the wings and the stabilizer. Mm. Oh, it's a uh, you know, Texan. <laughs> okay then. Now let's go to the Lancer. Where is the B1? Which B1? What B1 have I been using? Okay, zero hours, zero hours. Okay, so I've never used a B1. Let's pick a random one. <laughs> so here's the Lancer. Well, the when the V1 was first released in this game, this is the R variant, which is the, which doesn't actually exist, and just say and remodeled it into the B. So let's. Right, smoke. The Lancer. Hmm, what about this one? Or this one? Should be more blue, so yes, that was 
that was correct. Oops, <laughs> 1153. So this is the closest approximation, make it 0 0.2. Let's do aircraft gray on B. All right, so the size of the wind smoke is around 0.5. Let's make it a 0.16. See the consistency over there, so. There, the B1. <laughs> Notice any difference? Okay, statistics. Once again, here's the B1 Lancer. Okay, so the statistics are the same as in the previous game, the previous version. Just the visuals been <laughs> different, so the B1. Let's go to Milwaukee International. And here's the Lockheed L12 Electro Junior and the Titanium Remodel. The titanium Remodel. This. So, color scheme. So, it should be. Yes, this one should be off. Uh... How is this consistent? How does it, the part of this make consistent with the uh... So it comes with gradual recent configuration. Update. <laughs> well, looks great. I wish I could take a hand of this, but I have other planes to fly. <laughs> But don't worry, <laughs> I've actually made Epic Status your Mooney. <laughs> so Titanium also, in the previous update, the T2, where is it? The tanker, he, this one. Up. What, what, I have to ask, what did he replace? Hmm. 
Yeah, Zephyr, yes. Zephyrus is Greek for the West. And... And I've only named the <laughs> tanker when it was the Zephyr class as Ulysses, which is the Greek term for Ulysses. So U L I X E S to this one Ulysses to just make consistent with American spelling methods. So <laughs> it's the variant name of Odysseus according to Greek mythology. So the tanker is made by Titanium as well, like the Electra. Uh, and here's the T2. Is there a reason why you would just... And the statistics are pretty much the same as the Zephyr class oil tanker. Or it's just, it's just a temporary measure. Why are you making this? Well, I wonder they would just either bring back... <laughs> Let me know. Are they going to bring back the Zephyr class oil tanker, or this will, and they can make this a separate historic artifact? <laughs> What's the rationale for making an outdated oil? <laughs> yes. All right. So, what is the other one? Oh yes, the Polycarp of Ishis Nutset. That's at Rishorosh. So that All right, so for the Ishis Nutset, they've added a cockpit. Like the standard J and much other single engines. And just that's about that. There's not much advanced customization. And about the Ildwa M3. Okay, I'll use the search engine to see what... Um... Okay, ground attack aircraft of the Soviet. <laughs> so here's the Il Dua M3. <laughs> and what I've overlooked, it's... The MS what's not Odin? Hmm. Right. Okay, so I think that's about that. Other than the 727 <laughs> having an increase in service ceiling. Yep, that's. Yeah, there's now three, three hornets in this game. There's the F-18. It's like that. Mm -hmm. All right. So I was in the middle of a job chain with the Cathay Pacific A351000. And let me go to Oscar Fly for that. Oh, no. That was this here. <laughs> oh, my. That was my last destination before this year. Where's... 
All right. So the manual saved. So how does the manual save work? Let's let's try going to Augustus and. Uh, Oh, here it is. Here's the Jack o' Lantern, and that's the usual crazy spot of uh, Augustus Adel. There should be another one here. But let's take a flight with this Twin Otter, and okay, it's five p.m. So. Okay, wind's at 3.05, so looks like we'll have to... Let's just... Let's just grab the <laughs> jack-o'-lantern. Conventionally. Okay, concurrent players. So once we take off on the other, we will grab the jack-o'-lantern from either there or Then we'll head our way to Linwood. Clear for takeoff on way three six, Tango Oscar. I hope they will fix that soon. <laughs> oh yes! <laughs> if you check the Trello, then you could have seen that there's another developer vehicle based on the Chevy Silverado. And unlike most of the aircraft, and other vehicles, it has its own crazy name. The Shrunk Silver. <laughs> what term? Silver as in the German term. Shrunk <laughs> Silver. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, so let's grab the jack-o'-lantern and look at the moon. <laughs> it's full. <laughs> and you notice the sky is purpler, more purple. That normal. There's got a lantern. And we've got a Sukhoi Su. Got this, got Sim. Pocket Peak. Great. More developer vehicles.
Yes, the moon is full. Oh, where's the... Oh, oh the moon's up road. Oh, there it is. The moon behind the clouds. And it has a face! Whoa, a face! Let's see. Yes, the face looks just like those jack-o'-lanterns. Flying by over Linwood, let's see if there are any jack o' lanterns at their proper place. The first one, this is on the atop the water tower, and then the Linwood University campus. called Crate, and we missed it. Okay, so let's see the one up the, on the platform, the aircraft carrier, it's, it's there, so let's half speed, or rather half throttle. <laughs> Yes, it's half throttle. Got the crackle lantern, and we're still clipping from the aircraft carrier. Or rather, we clip through the aircraft carrier. Yes, I... <laughs> yes, that... That ship should be active right now. Like Lernavo. Let's see. Okay, C-130. And there's one of the B-1. <laughs> well, that was just for a few seconds. The water tower. And we missed the crate again. How elusive. Let's do one more pass and then we can declare this crate ungrabbable. Unobtainable. <laughs> okay. 
to succeed. Oh, <laughs> they forgot to remove the face after grabbing the crate, or... Oh yeah, the crate hasn't spawned yet, but they still have the face imprinted on it. Ghastly. Now to the processing plant. Oh. Right, so there's currently no quote crate, just it's an inactive jack o' lantern face. So let's check the coal processing plant, and here's the jack o' lantern, and it's a comet part. Alright, so let's check the next lantern. Atop the bridge. Okay, so... Okay, so it's only the face. No pumpkin. So that means it's inactive. Now for the top of the tallest building. And it's just the face. Okay, so this has no pumpkin, so this is inactive. Now for the construction crane. And oh, look at that! It's just floating! <laughs> well, when it was a crate, it should have been hanging around, but this one is floating. <laughs> Here's the pumpkin. Careful. We missed. We'll have to get the last. Okay, pumpkin. Come on, pumpkin, and no. Ah. Maybe it doesn't want us. So let's go to the last pumpkin and uh, where the sword of the stone is. Here it is. And where are the trees go? Where do the trees go? Okay, let's wait for the tree to render. There. 
the sword and the stone, and the pumpkin. Oh, here it is. This is the the manual save button. Yes. Alright, so the islands here are devoid of trees. What happened to them? Let's grab the lantern and we have a Chengdu Not Airship. Yep, this place is devoid of trees. Alright, we 121, that's opposite. So we have to land at Linwood Municipal on the other side. Oh, this is the... Okay. Alright, construction clearance to land one way three two. I go off there. Little bit of full power. Kilo Lima. Mike Alpha Power. I go off there. Construction clearance to land one way three two. Start final. Power Tiger after clear to land one way three two. Lining three two.
about to set. Goodbye. Halloween face. 